Good morning. This is All India Radio Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yantan. Nagaland Chief Minister Nipirio termed as highly fruitful the discussion on Naga political issue taken up yesterday by Nagaland Legislative Assembly. Rio expressed optimism that efforts and concerns of every member of the House will contribute towards the realization of early peace. While participating in the discussion, Rio said a democratic and just settlement of the Naga political issue will bring permanent peace and stability to the entire northeastern region and directly strengthen the democratic foundations of India. The Chief Minister appealed to people of neighboring states to extend all possible cooperation so that the peace process can conclude successfully and bring peace and stability in the entire region. He said the attainment of statehood did not lead to cessation of hostilities and the quest for a final solution continued, mostly because the Naga national groups, who were undivided at that time, were not part of the agreement. Stating that the House is the voice of the people, Rio said it is important that legislators deliberate on the long-standing Naga political issue and express the desire and feelings of the citizens. Rio said the journey of Naga people for true peace has been greatly assisted and supported by mass based civil society organizations, the tribal hohos, church organizations, Forum for Naga Reconciliation and NGOs besides the Naga political parties. Opposition leader Tia Zeliang said elected representatives of the people have a big role to play in breaching the gap and differences between the Naga negotiating groups. Participating in the debate on the Naga political issue, Zeliang said it is time for the Nagas, irrespective of whether underground or overground, to ponder and seek answer to what is right and not keep asking who is right. He said all 60 members of the House should together apprise the government of India to work out a formula to bring out a concrete proposal in black and white and place before the Naga negotiating group for a sustainable agreement which should be acceptable, honourable and inclusive. Zeliang also called for reaching out to the elected legislators and leaders from other Naga inhabited areas of neighboring states and voice out in unison. The Mabu District Administration has allowed all types of vehicles to ply on the stretch from Batkai Bridge to Gugidulong from 5 a.m. to 3 p.m. daily with effect from today. The Mabu Deputy Commissioner Rajesh Sundara Rajan in a circular informed all commuters and vehicles to strictly adhere to all the traffic regulations and maintain a distance of at least 30 metres between vehicles. 1,075 frontline workers and 521 healthcare workers were administered Covishield vaccine across Nagaland yesterday. State Immunization Officer Dr. Ritu Tur said 868 healthcare workers also received a second dose yesterday. Dr. Tur said no adverse events was reported which needed medical intervention. Till date, a total of 16,189 doses have been administered successfully across sessions. Angami Youth Organization AYO and Chakroma Youth Organization CYO have expressed serious concern over the slow pace with which the four-lane highway construction is being carried out in Nagaland under the supervision of National Highways and Infrastructure Development Corporation Limited. IO President Kekre Fuka and CYO President Seyen Nilho Keho in a joint press statement said, Inquiry into the matter reveals that the construction company is lacking seriousness and responsibility. The two organizations pointed out that avalanche-type rock slides which occurred recently are inevitable when mud and rock are cut from below. IO and CYO said the Mapu District Administration and the state government are also equally liable and responsible for the delay in the work. IO and CYO called for immediate proper measures to be put in place before the monsoon season. And as the nation fights COVID-19 pandemic, let us all remember to stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, wash hands frequently with soap and water, or use hand sanitizer and follow social distancing norms. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.